Healthy Heart Foundation, in partnership with First Cardiology Consultants, a hospital located in the heart of Ikoi, Lagos, as well as VOOM Foundation, a surgical team on the mission to various African countries offering open heart surgeries to indigent persons at no cost, have come together doing what many wish to see happen always in the health sector. Our correspondent Sarah Ayeko reports. About 18 million persons around the world die from cardiovascular diseases annually. CVDs are a group of disorders of the heart and blood vessels that include coronary heart disease, cerebrovascular disease, rheumatic heart disease and other conditions. In Nigeria, heart disease is responsible for 10% of all deaths, a considerably high number. This year, the Vum Foundation, in partnership with First Cardiology Consultants, a prestigious hospital located in the heart of Ikoi, Lagos, reduced the number of likely deaths from cardiovascular diseases by offering 10 Nigerians open heart surgeries for free. First Cardiology Consultants has been offering open heart surgeries for more than four years, but the high end costs of these surgery had made it exclusive to those who can afford it. Our expertise here over the past 10 years is that we built uh, from scratch an advanced cardiovascular science center where we grew the capabilities to be able to perform all the types of procedures that hitherto people went abroad to perform. Turns out that VOOM Foundation has been doing this for a very long time. We have been in Nigeria since 2008. Um, we have been doing open heart surgery since 2013. The disparity here from like where we come from uh, in America where healthcare is um, very, very good, um, the disparity is so huge. So we want to stay here and address it. We bring consumables, we bring the things that are needed, and then we try to teach the institutions the best that we can in our ability to have sustainable programs. The Healthy Heart Foundation, the brainchild of doctors Koforola Ogunyaki and Adeyemi Johnson was set up in 2019, but there was a little setback in year 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The whole idea of the Healthy Heart Foundation was birthed from the situations we've been having at FCC. So we receive, we see a number of patients, cardiac related patients, requiring surgeries or other heart related situations they cannot afford. We go through the process of diagnosing and at the point of diagnosing, they cannot just afford the surgeries, which is why we came up with the plans to, for a Healthy Heart Foundation. In the US, it costs about $60,000 to do a heart, a heart surgery. Well, who can afford that really? So in Nigeria, we have some high net worth patients that can probably afford it. But if you think about it, very, very few uh, people are able to come up with that kind of money. And in Nigeria, you would say, okay, is it as expensive as it is in the U.S. here? Um, even if it's not exactly as expensive, it's still quite expensive and out of reach for most people. And the reason being that almost everything we need to do those surgeries have to be imported. And then add on top of it what's happening to the foreign exchange. So it really is an expensive um, proposition that keeps a lot of people, keeps it out of reach for a lot of people. So hence our Healthy Heart Foundation. Surprising to the visiting surgeons are the peculiarities and complex conditions of the patients. Prevalent among the cases treated is a rheumatic fever, a disease that can affect the heart's joints, brain and skin. Rheumatic fever can develop if strep throat and scarlet fever infections are not treated properly. The majority of cases we do are heart valve surgeries and they are caused by rheumatic fever which is very common here in Nigeria, but in the United States, we don't see them very often. Rheumatic fever is a disease of childhood. When a child gets a sore throat with a streptococcus and is not treated, that infection affects the heart, and over the years, the valves get damaged, and patients usually go to heart failure. So what the pathology we see here is quite advanced compared to what we see in the United States. But one, we don't see that many rheumatic fever in the United States, Two, when you see them, it's a very early stage. Here, unfortunately, because of the lack, lack of 
uh, open heart program and cardiology uh, infrastructure, they usually come at a very late stage and most valves are damaged. We can't save them, we have to replace them. The best treatment for rheumatic fever is prevention. So I'm hoping with our efforts and what is going to eventually start in Nigeria, people will get aware of what rheumatic fever can do and how to prevent it, treat you know, sore throats at the childhood age, because that's how you eradicate rheumatic fever. Diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse in 2009 and surviving with drugs, Adamu Tanko came to Lagos from Toto, Nasarawa State to have its mitral valve replaced so he can live a normal life. The procedure started 2019, which the surgery should have taken place last year. So due to COVID um, pandemic, then they now shifted it to 2021. This young man came in for, to have his mitral valve, which is a valve that separates the upper from lower chamber, uh, repaired, either repaired or replaced. The valve uh, is supposed to open in one direction and close, so the blood can go in one direction. One-way valve. In his case, it does not open properly, and it lets a lot of blood go back when the heart pumps. So we have to look at the valve when we are in surgery. On the heart-lung machine, we have to stop the heart, open it, look at the valve, if it can be repaired, then by all means we repair it. If it cannot be repaired, then you have to take it out and replace it with an artificial valve. Most of the congenitals we see are at birth or, or in a young age. These people are 18, 25, 32, with, with the hole that has never been repaired before. Probably because they, have very, they had very little symptoms and as they progressed in, in, in age, the symptoms became a bit worse. The clock ticks as the damu lays on the table. Under the knives of the surgeons, more than four hours later, Adamu is wheeled into the ICU. According to the doctors, the surgery was successful. I'm better. I'm better now compared to when I arrived here, or maybe after the surgery immediately. I think I'm fast recuperating. Very, very grateful. Uh, this, is a, this is a real opportunity. And I know the future is in my hand now, you know.